Congress. Let's bring in Emily Wilkins with the latest on TikTok in Congress. Emily, great chat on Squawk this morning prior to the president's interview about the complexities behind this measure and the lobbying forces behind it. No, I mean, it's very interesting to see this TikTok bill now. I mean, it was just introduced last week. Then it got a committee markup where you saw 50, unanimously, 50 lawmakers go ahead and support this measure. And now you're going to expecting to have a House vote on the floor on Wednesday. And look, I know that former President Trump really honed in on Meta, and that's kind of been the source for most of his comments on this TikTok ban. But remember, when Trump was president, he did try to ban TikTok, and it was a national security concern. And this is the big concern for law. Lawmakers. This is the reason they're pushing it forward. Of course, the question here is, is the bill going to be narrowly tailored enough to avoid some of the issues that other TikTok bans have run into? Concerns over freedom of speech, concerns over, you know, the bill actually, the TikTok being named in the bill. There's a constitutional question around that. Um, so we'll, it'll be interesting to see what kind of support this gets in the House. And then, of course, the big question, could this be put to a vote on the floor in the Senate? At this point, Chuck Schumer has expressed an interest in the bill, but he has not said for sure whether it's going to come to a vote. Uh, but we know if it does, at least President Joe Biden said over the weekend that if Congress passes it, he will sign it. And this is a lot of momentum for a bill to get in a short period of time. And I think really speaks to some of the wider concerns in Washington, D.C. right now around China and national security.